So you're thinking about buying a home and you're wondering when's gonna be the best time to make that big purchase. Well, that's what I'm gonna be answering for you today on our Frequently Asked Questions video. So when's the best time to buy a home? Well, let's talk about a few different things. First of all, what's the difference between a buyer's market and a seller's market? Obviously, the buyer's market sounds like it would be better and that's true, but why? Uh, generally, it means the month supply of inventory is greater, which means that you're gonna have uh, fewer fellow bar buyers to compete with, so that's nice. You're also gonna have more homes to choose from relative to a seller's or a balanced market. So uh, more to choose from and less competition means that you can take your time a little bit more and uh, you don't have to pay as high of top dollar necessarily, less multiple offer situations and so forth. Uh, with the seller's market, obviously the opposite would be true. It means homes are selling very quickly and it means that they're selling for top dollar. Multiple offers, everyone's having to compete because there's more buyers than there are listings and so they're competing for the few listings that are out there. Uh, you know, generally prices can go up a little bit, but there's a lot of variables that factor into uh, how the prices are affected within that um, buyer's or seller's market. So. Uh, should you wait for one market or the other? My advice would be no, typically because um, there's other factors that are more significant than buying in the perfect ideal market. Um, it's never just saying flat, hardly ever. If you look at our month supplies graph, they're always going up, they're going down. So, um, you know, some folks will say, well, we're in a good market now, I wanna wait for a better market. Well, you might flip the other direction and you'll lose what you had. Or on the other sense, you're thinking, well, I'm just gonna, uh, sit and wait until the seller's market comes back down. Well, you could, but that could also take five or 10 years. It's not like it's going to happen overnight. So then what, you know, for a balanced market, the market actually almost never sits balanced. It just passes through from one to the other. So generally, I wouldn't recommend just waiting and hoping for the market to balance out or to swing to your side of the pendulum. Um, you know, it's, it, it's anyone's game. It's kind of like predicting the weather a month in advance. You know, you might have a few days in advance to get an accurate forecast, but you know, who knows what it's gonna look like. And also looking at your situation, can you afford to? Do you have a lease that's coming due? Are you living in your parents' basement and you're ready to move? Uh, those types of things are gonna be more important and more substantial than trying to time the market. So I don't recommend that. However, some things you can think about, what are your interest rates doing right now? If interest rates are going up, then you're not gonna wanna wait because obviously the amount you're able to borrow is gonna go down and the cost of that loan is gonna go up over the life of it because of the higher interest rate. If things are going down, I'll revert to what I said before, things might be going down now and you're thinking, well, I'm just gonna wait until they get a little bit lower. Well, what if they swing back the other direction real quick on you and you lose that opportunity that you had because you're in a good rate. So again, uh, waiting you know, extended periods of time generally isn't gonna be the best bet in that sense. Just make sure that your personal finances are in order, you can afford the home that you're buying, you're not stretching your budget too much, uh, and I think you're in good shape when your situation says that you're ready, not timing it on the market. So hopefully that helps. If you'd like more helpful videos like this, just visit joecarmack.com. I've got a whole library of them for you on buying and selling, and uh, just reach out. I'd love to set a buyer's consult with you and help in any way that I can. That's joecarmack.com. Thanks so much.